Although behind in the missile race, Russia still had a card to play. Yuri Gagarin. From about five o'clock in the morning, I kept thinking, now they're waking him up. Now he's getting dressed, being fed. Now he's getting on the bus on his way to the launch pad. Gagarin had been chosen to be the first man in space. Behind him sat his backup man, Guillaume and Titov. For us, it was ordinary work. Well, not quite ordinary, because we had to fly rockets and Sputniks. But that's what we were prepared for. We could see the launch very well. At first, our dear one started rocking very slightly. Then, whoosh, off it went, up into the sky. It was incredibly beautiful, particularly for us who'd given so much of themselves to the project. Земля сообщила, прошло 70 секунд после старта. Я ответил, понял вас, все хорошо. Гагарин circled the earth. The flight had lasted 108 minutes. He arrived back to a hero's welcome. There were tears of joy. People kissed strangers in the streets. And Gagarin, he was everybody's love. He and his smile. I still keep his photograph. His achievement delighted every Russian and the world. <laughs> 